all right everyone let's talk about this new tool in the town which is bun and this claims to be even faster than the fastest tools which we have currently for javascript that is es build and swc and so on now bun is like the website says it's like post css babel node and webpack all in one but way way faster than any other tool out there now let's take this video to explore this tool a little bit explore what's going on with this whole infrastructure and what does it mean for the future of javascript if you're new here make sure you leave a like subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon this is free of cost and helps the channel grow all right so first things first let's take a look at what exactly bun is right so bun just like for example if you talk about Dino, it's a very new tool which includes a bunch of utilities in itself. But the difference in Bun is that Bun uses JavaScript core as the JavaScript engine, right? JSC is another JavaScript engine. Chrome uses, for example, Chrome browser, which I'm using, runs on a JavaScript engine known as V8. JavaScript core is another JavaScript engine. And Bun uses that to execute your Node.js or JavaScript code or whatever it is. And it claims to be insanely fast right it's, it's insanely fast in terms of performance in terms of speed it basically beats everything available in the market at the moment as it claims he's the author of the tool i follow him on twitter and he shares a lot of interesting updates and interesting stuff about how bun works so make sure you follow him check out his profile if you're interested in that but as you follow him as you come across the all the work he has done you will realize that bun is still very much active work in progress a lot of features are actively getting developed actively built but as and when they are built they are they are just just way way faster than your traditional tooling out there so of course a guy like this who's building a low level tool from scratch is super smart i have no doubt in that and the fact that he's he's probably challenging a lot of people in the industry as a single person i think i'm not sure if he he has a team or anything because even the repository which bun has it's an invite only system you can go to his discord and, and request for the access this is repository contains the source code of that and uh, yeah i mean the major contributor is still uh, him only on the project okay so i want to try bun i want to try to use bun and see if i can feel any difference or feel anything in my first go probably not because i won't not be benchmarking this against anything anything heavy duty but let's see so it's native for mac os you are installing bun.sh slash install and i mean i'm not the biggest fan of running scripts like this because this is this can be super insecure if you copy the wrong thing or but yeah i mean obviously you can not determine if this looks fine or not but i'll just bite the bullet and assume that because i'm following this author for way too long and the discord is very active so i'm i'm assuming that this is not a bad actor and a bad script so let's go ahead and install it on mac os i'm gonna go ahead and paste this and it shouldn't start the installation process and there we go not so bad you can see it, it did not take a lot of time i can just say exec shell or just restart my shell either way is fine and now i should have access to bun which is awesome now this is a bundler this is a transpiler this is a javascript runtime everything and it's super fast i'm gonna create a bun project so i'm gonna say bun create next bun create next and i'm gonna say my next js project and there we go and there we go it did not take a lot of time in you know to bootstrap and install and do everything around node.js and, and the installation part so i can just go ahead and hit bun over here and it starts immediately it starts the server immediately runs everything immediately it's super fast i can feel it so that is awesome but as you can see over here it still does not support a lot of next.js features like i said it's still a work in progress the bun bundler and the transpiler itself so obviously you cannot use it for anything serious or production level yet but the performance it happens to give is is way fast and way better than any existing tooling except for you know es build and that stuff so i mean definitely webpack is getting a lot of beating these days with these native tools es build is there swc is there then bun also comes across and pitches that it's 100 times faster than webpack i mean webpack is 
is seriously getting a lot of competition and has to go under massive, massive performance improvements if it wants to withstand these new softwares coming in. Okay, so now let's go ahead and see how long it takes for Bun to initialize a React app because we know that React apps tends to be, the Create React apps at least, tends to be slow in installation. I'm going to go ahead and say Create React and then I'm going to say My React Bun app, whatever, right? So let's go ahead and see how fast it completes this. And this is this is crazy. I mean, I don't think we even need to trim down the video and it has already installed not only just the, you know, the repository files itself, but also the node modules, right? So if I ls and you can see we have a node modules folder and node modules.bun, which is might be something, you know, specific to the bundler itself. And now if I go ahead and start bun, it's crazy fast. I mean, this is this is definitely faster than anything and everything I have ever seen before. Just for comparison, if I do npx create react app slow, you're going to see it, it's easily going to take a minute or so, it'll, even on my system. I'm running a MacBook Pro to install, it'll, you know, fetch the files, it'll do all sorts of stuff. Now, obviously, this might not be the one on one comparison because we don't know what bun has removed in terms of the dependencies, but it still is, is super crazy fast. I, I wouldn't mind saying 100 times faster in a lot of big projects as well. You you can see that speed up. But yeah, I mean, this is this is like amazing. You can see that it's still going and going and going. And how much time did it take us for this? I think, yeah, under five seconds. So under five seconds, you were able to create an app with React, you know, one app react app with bun and here you already have i think we have spent over 30 seconds 30 35 seconds now maybe my internet speed is to blame maybe it's not but you know running both of them similar you know together on a single system should reveal that bun is in fact very fast and uh, yep this is I think we are almost done now with this also it might take a, a few more seconds maybe five to ten seconds but you see you see that create react app is basically way 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 slower than bun so for create react app it does not give us an exact timing but we could probably post produce the time and put the number of seconds here which you can see on your screen so bun of course is orders of magnitude faster compared to how much time it takes for create react app to run so yep it's a very interesting project it's very new it's very much work in progress but it brings ton of benefits it brings tons of performance and, and you know speed improvements at least on the tooling part i'm not so sure about how well it will hold on with javascript core as the main engine because as far as I know and I have seen JavaScript core is definitely not as performant as V8 when it comes to the performance and especially with Chrome 99 also because Google just released a update on how Chrome 99 is even faster than before. So Chrome, Google is working really hard on V8 to make sure it is not only just one of the but actually the fastest JS engine available out there but Bun uses JavaScript core so that is an interesting choice. One thing you can see however is that Bun does not support Windows yet because JavaScript core as an engine is not very well supported on windows yet and, and and the author actually mentions the reason as well because of the io um how io works differently on windows versus linux systems but yep i mean it's just a matter of time before this tool if you know everything goes well this tool matures and comes out and i mean it's 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 gonna be a game changer if this if this actually takes off you can already see some bold claims from last year that it's three times faster than es build i mean that's that's the best we have in the town at the moment 94 times faster than swc on some build and obviously babel and webpack we we don't even need to compare how fast that would be and of course other authors have pitched in the author of swc has pitched in the author of es build has pitched in and ES build is basically very close to as good as it gets for JavaScript tooling but still I mean the author says Ivan says that it's it's close within you know the five times of the peak so it's maybe ES build can be improved five times more of you know in, in terms of speed but yeah I mean bun still beats it at least that's that's what the number says so here we are so yep that's pretty much it for this video hopefully this was an interesting introduction to a new tool in the town super excited to try this out once it comes out as a public release it's still in early alpha beta whatever you, you want to call it you do have access to the source code you can 
start messing around with this but it's it's honestly of no good use at the moment for production build systems because it's not only just missing a lot of features but also a lot of internal apis itself right the javascript apis plus the fact that it uses javascript core i'm not sure about that but again that's not precisely my field of work so i'm not exactly sure how javascript core would beat v8 in this case but yeah let's see so yep that's pretty much it for this video if you like this make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel that is all for this one i'm gonna see you in the next video really soon if you're still watching this video make sure you comment down in the comment section i watched this video till the end also if you're not part of code Dump's discord community you are missing out a lot on events which we organize on a weekly basis to code you already know the drill make sure you like the video subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and thank you so much for watching